With this video, we will be doing BTS plans for 2025. And if you want to help this channel and the content I'll be making, please help support our merchandise, our Patreon, our Discord, and our Twitter. All links are in the description. If you didn't hit that like button, make sure you hit the like button. Trying to get the channel to grow. And the only way we're going to do this if you like, share, and comment on the content. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Let's go! Chi Chi, get the yayo. Get the yayo. Jose, like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, it's Jose, and I'm back for another quick BTS update video. Okay. First and foremost, happy birthday, Jimin. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Jimin. Let's get it. Jimin, Jimin, Jimin. Thank you for everything that you've given us. We love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. May this day be a great one for you. This is so exciting that I just have to share with you because I feel like not a lot of people knew this happened. I barely found out that this happened. Okay. Bang PD talked about BTS and what... Yeah, Jose got to go up his sources because, you know what I mean? He be getting the news. He be on with the news. I'm like, how he be getting this stuff? Turn me on to your sources, man. <laughs> Jose do be the news quick. Yes, the news that nobody else knows. Um, Shouts out to him. I don't know how he do what he do, but... Um, he got what he do. Yeah. What is in store for 2025? And let me tell you, it's a big, it's a big thing coming. Before we get into it, make sure to click that like button and subscribe if that you part. haven't. That is the easiest way to support the channel. If you want to support a little more and get extra content for your support, I do have a Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Thank you guys for your continued support. And if you are able to support in that way, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, he had the August D Day on his Patreon. Yo, that was a classic too. That was a dope album. Right. We, it was. We bodied we that joint. So Bank PD was on Bloomberg Screen Time. He was one of many invited guests to be interviewed about music, film, the entertainment industry in general. And it was quite a short interview. It wasn't like a long, long interview. And he talked about the state of K-pop and like the company goals for Hype and the new group that he's going to be debuting with the Dream Academy and like what's the goal, what what's the process like, etc. And then one of the interviewers asked about BTS and about contract renegotiations. We all know that they signed again back in September last month. And she brings it up. She asked about the contract and also what is in store once BTS BTS comes back in 2025. And that's a great question because that's what everybody really want to know. What do the future of BTS um, look like? So that's a dope question. That's probably the most important question that she could ask them. Right. Got yeah, right down to the, <laughs> to, the, to the thick of things. Like, I, I just wanted to know. That's, everyone wants to know. Yeah. And this is what Bang PD had to say. Now, the clip that I'm going to be including is the actual translator talking because Bang PD's answer is fully in Korean. Let's talk after. Uh, so, as for the growth of a company, BTS, uh, and the, the fact that we need BTS, I think is, is uh, needless to say. But as a manager, as a management company, and as a music label, for a company like Hype, for artists with such you know, stature and great artists as BTS, to have chosen us again as their manager and, and as their label, I think is is very valuable for our company and something that makes us very very happy. And you know, I've become more, I've become closer to the members during the the we, the contract process. And we, I felt before, you know, like how can I even be closer to these these people? But you know, every contract and every renegotiation uh, involves some pain and some. Uh, some you know travails, but through this process, I've become even closer, and we've we've come to understand each other more and more. So, you know, this has been a source of great joy for me. And as you know, in 2015, BTS you know released its um, Hwayang Yana or the Most Beautiful Woman in Life album and the album series, and this was a very important album series for them. It showed their growth as artists. It reflected their lives and who they were and the lives they were li they living. And this was uh, became one of the springboards that launched them into global stardom as a, a global band. So you know, and when we were young and we were all working together, we we said to each other, you know, let's make, let's make sure we put out a 10-year anniversary album and a project. Now, even if if they hadn't signed with us, they still would have released it, just not with us. They would have mm -hmm. done it with somebody else. 
but you know, it's it's very important important to me that I'm able to keep this promise and we're, we're able to work it, uh, this together. And in fact, I think many people may have guessed it, but I believe this is the first time that I am uh, mentioning in public that there is going to be a 10-year anniversary in a project. So, oh, oh my yes. <sighs> Okay, let's talk the points that he hit because this is a lot that he dropped. Right off the bat, let's talk about it. Let's 10 about it. year anniversary album slash project for HYYH. The most beautiful moment in life. Girl, let's not forget that Nam June said this on Satrita that they are trying to keep that promise and it's just been confirmed by, by Bank PD that it's happening. So that's dope. It sounds like they're about to drop a uh, 10 year anniversary uh, for an album um, that they dropped. Mm. Probably gonna come with some new content. Um, guessing new songs, um, and I think that's dope. Yeah, for to see them, you know, actually putting some n new material out. Yeah, and then just let us know, or just put us on alert that um, since that is coming out, we definitely got to check the album out before the 10 year um, album come out so we can know the differences, already know the sound, already be in tune with it before it drops. Right. When they come back in 20 I think people um, was hoping um, that they would do it when they heard the information. But it's a difference between hoping and now I know that they're actually I'm gonna do it. Right, and you know, that makes a big difference too. Hell of a difference. People even knowing. Yeah. You know, that it's definitely what they're looking for. Yeah, it's made people day. Like, people wanna know there's more BTS content coming out, and just got the answer. 2025 after the military. Girl! <laughs> this is gonna be epic. That era, when that started, it was it magical. And also, it's gonna be really like personal for me because, in a good way because 2015 is when I became ARMY. That's when I discovered BTS. So it'll also be my 10 year anniversary of being ARMY. So on a personal note, that's gonna be like ah, hitting me right here. Dang, that'd be like a crazy number of people say that like 10 years of um, being an ARMY or just like long years, 12 years, 13 years. Um, it's just like, wow, that's a long time to be involved with a group. Um, I'm not sure if he was covering them for that 10 years or not, but that's a long time yeah, to be in a group. And commitment. yeah, that's definitely a commitment 10 years. Like, especially with nowadays when people uh, like an artist today, don't even care about them tomorrow. Yeah, we, we live in that. <laughs> the microwavable. Uh, yeah, age. that quick. Yeah, you get hot, you cool off. That's it. Here. So, fellow 2015 armies, I feel you. I feel you because <laughs> that's going to be something amazing. Let me know what you think is going to happen in 2025 when it comes to HYYH and like what kind of album or project do you think is going to happen? Because woo! Also, the other points that he touched on, I think it speaks volumes on BTS's and Big Hit's and Bank PD's relationship because he stated that they resigned with Big Hit, but even if they didn't, they would have released this 10 year anniversary project regardless of them being with Big Hit or somebody else. That's huge because obviously they resigned with Big Hit because they have a relationship built on trust first and foremost and they wanted to, you know what I mean? They could have easily said, no, we're gonna go with somebody else. So the trust there, it speaks volumes on that. But also guys, it speaks volumes because that pretty much- I'm kind of that, down. I wanna make sure I'm taking everything you're saying. is unique, I think, how they're all not really, um, Looking the connected same way. to him in the picture. They're like everywhere but focused on what he's doing. I mean, it's meant to be like that, almost like art, like where he's the only one looking straight directly at you right. while everyone's looking around. It's almost like it's, it's meant to be like that. Yeah. Kind of like artsy when you look at it. Yeah. So all attention, your all eyes attention just go straight, straight to him. To him. Yeah. yeah. Sign with Big Kid because they have a relationship built on trust first and foremost, and they want it to. You know what I mean? They could have easily said, no, we're going to go with somebody else. So the trust there, it speaks. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Um, With the album, when he said even if BTS wasn't with us, um, the album still would have dropped. Because that content that was made, while they were still under them, they still own that content. They don't want to probably pay for the studio time and all that stuff. So it makes sense whether BTS was with them or not. They still could have 
drop the content, drop yeah. the album because they already have it. I'm pretty sure it's already made. Yeah. So oh, so the content's already out there. It just hasn't. Been no. It, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's probably out there, haven't been released yet. Because they gotta have songs. Because you know when you're recording, you have a bunch of songs that doesn't yeah, make the album. So you have like. I'm pretty Something. sure Hobbs in that ten years they got a whole vault full of songs no one, that no one ever heard. Like. Right. It's volumes on that, but also guys, it speaks volumes because that pretty much confirmed that BTS was gonna stay together regardless of what label they were gonna go with. So let's say in a, a hypothetical way, in a, another world, BTS did not re-sign with Big Hit that still wouldn't mean that they were gonna disband. They were just gonna go on in another label because Bang PD said they were gonna do it regardless of it being with Big Hit Music or not. So it's speak. I mean, I always felt like that. Um, I felt like if they was just gonna, um that if they was gonna sign, they was all the sign together. Um, just cause you switch your label, you still a group, you still could do music. Like nothing like change. Only thing that changes like the machine that's behind you. So I wouldn't. I always thought that regardless of who they sign with, I still seen them putting out music as a group. Um, even though they all do great um, solo, to me, I think they have something with the brotherhood. They all appreciate that brotherhood. It's not something they, none of them take for granted. So it just right. made sense they would stay together as a unit because that's what they always been. Then they've been around each other so long. It's kind of different when you're not around them people. You're just so used to being with them. You've right. been with them so long. It's like, what do I do when they're not around? Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. It's volumes. It's, it's loud, the relationship they have and how much they are brothers in this how much they are family in this and yes it's a business that's what this was about this whole interview or event that they had with bloomberg obviously it's talking about the business side of things and we know that we're not oblivious to that but it still speaks above all I oh i just peeped that um i think it does but don't like it make a seven you know that we go my seven how they got them lined up like a uh, seven around, yeah, them. around them it does look sort of like a seven like on an angle yeah the relationship that they have too. They gotta trust in each other and have that strong bond, which we know they have. But this is nice. so exciting and to see Bang PD like say it, it just like, ah, it's just like solidifies it. Even though we know BTS are true to their word, you know, just another, an executive to say this is also like, damn, it's huge. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love you army. Every day we get closer to 2025. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and until next time, adios. Trey TV. Let's get it. This is Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore all lower cases. No spaces. You can find us on Facebook. Just make sure you hit the like button. I'm going to get right into this one. We got Jose Ocho ATV. I like the fact that he's um, quick on the story. Right. You know, as soon as you hear something, boom, it's out. And uh, it, it was cool to hear that uh, BTS is going to be releasing some new content. Um, and he just kind of filled in a couple of the blanks, you know. I mean, um, it's cool seeing the different uh, pictures with, the, you know, the, the label. And um, just knowing that they're going to be around for a little bit. What do you think about this? I think it was a dope video, a formative video. Um, shout out to Jose. Uh, give us some good news, good information that uh, BTS will be uh, dropping some new content. And they signed a contract um, to stay together um, for a while longer. I know some people have problem with Hive and certain things they did um, at times. But nobody know Hive better than BTS who been around them and know what they're doing, know all the problems that they're right. talking about that they had with them and they still chose to, to sign with them. So that says a lot because they know the inner workings more than any of us ever will know. So right. they wanted to sign with it. That's what they want to do. I respect the decision and I thought this was a good video. Can't wait till we get into our next video. But until then, it's Trey TV and I'm out.